In this video, we'll be talking about a really unique member of the cleanup crew in that they can live in both fresh and salt water. One of my personal favorite snails, the Nerite snail. And these are probably the perfect snail for a beginner looking to get into the inverts. They stay small. They don't require crazy tank parameters to be kept successfully. They're just overall a good beginner invert for people that want to get into keeping them. The family that these snails belong to contains over 200 different species of snails, most of which do live in brackish water, with a few that do live in fresh waters like streams and lakes and rivers. Now, if you're getting in the freshwater ones, they have ties to snails from Eastern Africa, while the saltwater ones are going to be more closely related to those from the Pacific and Caribbean. Typically, when you're looking to buy these, they're going to come in a few different varieties. You're going to have your zebras, your tigers, your olives, your racers, and your horned narrow right, snails. Now, regardless of which type you choose to buy, they will go great working hard to clean your glass, your tank, keeping them clean. And people think that they are one of the best, if not the best, snails to buy for keeping your tank, your glass, your decor, substrates, plants, all clean. Best part about these snails is that in fresh water, they do not reproduce. Now they will lay eggs, which look like little sesame seeds on things, but they won't actually hatch because they can only hatch in salt water. So you don't have to worry about an explosion of snails taking over your tank like you do with your ram's horns or your mystery snails or other snails. Narrow snails will only hatch in salt water. They do stay fairly small. They only get about one to two inches so they can be kept in smaller tanks, you know, as low as a five gallon. And they live anywhere from one to three years, typically. With two years being the average range for these guys. Cool fact about these guys is that they can actually live out of water for several hours to a day if necessary. They do this by they keep a little bit of water inside their shell. So they actually have like a personal water tank up in their shell that they can keep if they need to get out of the water and move somewhere. As for tank parameters, these guys can survive a wide range uh, for pH. They can go anywhere from 6 upwards of 8, 5. Mine are all in tanks of 6, 6, 5, and then a couple at 7. Though with this, you have to look out for the water being too soft, which can have complications with their shells. So I have to supplement their food with a calcium rich food. KH and GH, you're going to want to keep them up higher between 12 to 18 or 120 parts to 180 parts per million with a good amount of calcium because they need that for their shells. If they're in the more acidic water and they don't have enough calcium, it can actually erode their shells, which is not good. Temperature range, they can go 65 to 85. More average range though is 72 to 80. I've heard that if they get too hot, they won't survive well and too cold, they won't as well. Food wise, they're of course an herbivore who love, love, love algae. So if you don't have algae in your tank, veggies are good things like kale and spinach because that's going to have a lot of good calcium for them. I personally give mine algae wafers and shrimp king mineral to help with that calcium supplement since my water is also soft. Certain tanks I can throw in a handful of crushed coral or a caudal bone also to help with their shells. But I try to avoid that because that will also change the pH, which will affect my shrimp, my fish as well. But I have been keeping nerites in my community tank that sits at 6.0 and it's going on two years now and they're still alive and going crazy. Now you're going to want to avoid things with copper because snails are very sensitive to copper. So try and avoid feeding anything that contains copper. It'll say copper sulfate on the food. Also tank water wise, you're going to want to keep your nitrates under 20 parts per million. Snails are very susceptible to high nitrate levels as well. Now, these snails are one of my personal favorite. They don't overpopulate in fresh water. They make a fun breeding project if you want to try a brackish tank. They also keep your tank extremely clean inside, easy to care for. These guys are getting a perfect 10 out of 10. As always, thank you all so much for watching and the continued support on the video. If you're new here and enjoy this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience with Nerite snails. Love them. Hate them. Do you want some? Also, leave a like on the video. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.